Spiky, take a look at the pond. Wow, it's beautiful. Can you name any of the living things in it? There is a water lily, a few other plants, a frog, a few fish. There are also birds here. Look at the duck. It seems to be enjoying the water. I can see some small insects as well. Good. How about the non-living things? Yes, there are a number of non-living things too. Like water in the pond, the air, soil on the ground, stones, and of course, sunlight. Are the living things interacting with the non-living things? Yes, they are. Like the lily plant in this pond needs sunlight, water, carbon dioxide from air, and other nutrients to make its food. Also. The fish need water to survive. Good observation. In science, such a system is called an ecosystem. It consists of all living and non-living things in an area. Let's take a closer look to know more about the ecosystem. Ecosystem is a short form for ecological system. It comes from the word ecology. Ecology is the study of the interaction of living. And non-living things. Living things in an ecosystem are called biotic components. For example, plants, animals, insects, microorganisms, and even human beings. Non-living things in an ecosystem are called abiotic components. For example, air, water, sunlight, nutrients, and temperature. So, a pond is an example of an ecosystem. We have observed that there are many different types of living things within an ecosystem, from microorganisms to insects and plants. These living things depend on non-living things, like water, sunlight, temperature, air, and nutrients for their survival. Can you give me an other example of an ecosystem? Well, the ocean is also an example of an ecosystem. It consists of countless numbers of living organisms as well as non-living. An ecosystem can also be small, such as the area under a rock. Here, you will find biotic components like microorganisms and insects. And abiotic components like soil, nutrients, and air. An ecosystem can also be as big as our Earth. Although different ecosystems may have similarities and differences from one another, they all contain biotic and abiotic components. We also have artificial ecosystems, for example, a park, a garden. A zoo, or even an aquarium. To summarize, an ecosystem consists of all living things and non-living things in a given area and their interactions. Living things in an ecosystem are called biotic components, while the non-living things of an ecosystem are called abiotic components. An ecosystem can be as small as a pond or as big as the earth.